Okay, the goal of this tutorial is to create a Windows Phone application in under 10 minutes. So we're going to get right to it. And I'm going to show you just really briefly some of the features of the Visual Studio, um, the integrated development environment. And what we see when it first comes up is a toolbox. And this contains all of the uh, different controls that are available to your disposal to design your screens with. And uh, there's buttons, ellipses, check boxes, images, all kinds of things that, uh, that we can use in, in building our application. We've also got the Windows Phone Designer. Looks like a, a Windows Phone, and this is where we're gonna build our screen. Over here, we have the XAML, and uh, for this, demonstration we are going to go ahead and hide this panel in a later tutorial we can cover this more in depth but for now we're just writing a quick application so let's hide that and over here we have our list of various um, assets that our projects comprised of this app XAML for this tutorial, we're not going to worry about it, but we'll cover that in depth in a future tutorial. The page that we're currently going to be work on, working on is the main page XAML. So let's get started. The first thing that we'll see is by default, we have a screen with a couple of text blocks and as you see right here the text blocks and uh, the properties window here so when I select it we see all of the available properties for that text block and there's quite a few uh, attributes um, that a text block has such as the different font the weight of the font height width in, in this demonstration, we're going to just change my application to say, Hello World. And once we click off of this, you'll see it change immediately here. So we'll do the same thing with this text block. And the text is a lot bigger than what we've got um, on the one we just modified. So what we'll do is we'll put a nice welcome right below it so it stands out there and then what I'm highlighting here is the grid so we can put elements within the grid so just to show you what some of these controls are like let's use the ellipsis let's just add an ellipsis and I just, what I did was clicked on it and dragged and dropped it right into our screen design. And we're going to change the fill. Let's go ahead and make it green. Okay. And so the next thing we're going to do is let's check out an image control. That sounds like a good one. So we'll throw that image on here. And I just so happen to have an image that we can use. So let's take this image and we're just gonna go ahead and drag that right into our project. Whoops, let's go back here. So I'm dragging it right up to the project level, and dropping that in and we'll see that that's available. Now, the image has a property called source and this source is what tells uh, Silverlight which image to use. So let's go ahead and click my uh, Encouraging Games logo, click OK and as we can see it, it immediately becomes available here. So let's span it out. And now we're gonna run this and see what it looks like. Okay, by clicking the start button there, it brings up the phone emulator. 
And uh, here is our splash screen that we just created. So it's really neat. This is the uh, the simulator actually has the um, the real Windows Phone operating system. If I go back, you'll see Explorer there. So if I click on that, it's just like uh, being on a real Windows Phone. So there you have it. Our first uh, quick application for Windows Phone. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we'll have some more to follow. Thanks.